Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I'm excited, I'm excited, I am excited. You know that song, I'm excited, I'm excited, I love the Lord, I love the Lord. I hope I didn't mess up, you know, and, and get off my key there, my tune. But look, I'm excited about what God is doing. Yes, we are in a silly season. The elections are around the corner, the midterms. Things are going on in this world. Uh, uh, violence is uh, in the land. There is chaos everywhere. But I want you to know that there is an antipole to the chaos. There is a, a there is a place where you can go that will lift you above it and keep you sound, safe, and fulfilled. And that 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 place, that person, that individual, that book, that place is the Word of God and the God of the Bible. And I am going to be talking about it tonight. Now, I know that you, like me, there's a whole lot of things going on in your life. These are the times in which we live. The, the, the times are what they are. But do you know, my friends, God has peace for you and peace for me in the midst of the storm. And the peace is not a denial. You know, where you say, well, I'm just going to pretend that what's happening is not happening. That's not peace. That, that, that doesn't last very long. The, the peace is not that you give up on that wayward child or that wayward son or daughter. Uh, how can a good parent do that? The peace is not that you don't know that there is an affliction in your body. But the peace is something that God will give you that passive all understanding and it comes from knowing your purpose and your, your, your destiny and your meaning. You see, let me tell you, when you know why you're here and you know what you're here to do, then you are able to find peace and joy in every situation, no matter what the headlines are. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. I love the Lord. And I want you to join me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> Yeah, you guessed it. Bible study. Amen. We're not going to have a concert. We're not going to have a raffle. We're not going to have a party. We're going to study the Bible. And after we study the word of God, you're going to you're going to walk away if you're here live. You're going to you're going to turn off if you're watching us, if you're streaming us, uh, whatever you're doing, you're going to you're going to walk away uh, saying, you know what? There is a place. There is a God. He loves me. I'm not forgotten. He cares about me. Oh, my friend right there in the hospital, uh, receiving treatment. God is with you. God is with you. Hearing all those medical instruments around you. Doctors coming in and poking you. Nurses checking on you. Lying in bed. Oh, thinking about what you would be doing if you were up in, in Adam. It seems when, you, when you're going through times like that, it's easy to wonder, where is God? Parent that's concerned about that wayward child, and you, you've done all you know to do, but the kid won't do like you know that they should. It's easy to, to question. It's easy to wonder, where is God? I feel an abandoned wife or husband, your marriage is failing or have failed. Pastor who's sick in his body. Oh my, I feel God, the Holy Spirit moving on me right now. Let me tell you, whatever your situation is, whatever it is, there is a peace. There is a place. If, if you know your purpose, God's going to bless you to fulfill it, to carry it out. It's going to glorify him. And it's going to bless you real good. And we're going to talk about it tonight in the word of God. I love you, but more importantly, the God of the Bible loves you. And he told me to tell you that you are on his mind. I'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.